Welcome to the American Air Power Heritage Museum at the Commemorative Air Force International Headquarters. The museum is dedicated to preserving the complete history of World War II military aviation and the memory of the men and women who built, serviced, and flew the historic military aircraft. This video will provide you with an overview of the museum's facilities and exhibits. The Commemorative Air Force Headquarters covers 75 acres of Midland International Airport, the original site of the Midland Army Airfield. Located at the headquarters are the Air Power Museum, the CAF Headquarters Offices, and the CAF Aircraft Hangar and Support Facilities. The Air Power Museum houses over 40,000 square feet of hands-on exhibits that detail the story of World War II air power from the rise of German and Japanese militarism before World War II to the introduction of the Atomic Age. The museum provides interactive, multidisciplinary displays that illustrate aviation concepts and events from every theater of the war. The museum gallery provides an overview of World War II aviation through interactive displays and video presentations. The gallery is divided into several chronological and topical exhibits that illustrate American air power. The gallery begins with wars and rumors of war. This portion of the exhibits details World War I and the decade before the bombing of Pearl Harbor, when regional wars were the thunder before the storm of World War II. Immediately after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. government took steps to prepare a nation for war. The home front exhibit details the personal sacrifice everyone made on the American home front. Midland Army Airfield was the world's largest bombardier training base during World War II. The Midland Army Airfield Gallery details the training process that young cadets followed before leaving for combat on the front lines. Supplying troops across vast distances has been critical to the success or failure of military campaigns throughout history. The Military Air Transport Exhibit explores the role of commercial and military aircraft in transporting men and supplies for the war effort. The WASP exhibit highlights the role women pilots performed during World War II. The WASP provided invaluable services in air transportation that secured them an accepted and honored place in aviation forever. The Airborne Gallery details the development of airborne troop deployment because of their element of surprise and silent stealth, gliders and parachutes were used to land men and supplies behind enemy lines. The bombing in World War II exhibit details the evolution of strategic bombardment. From the trench warfare of World War I to the aerial warfare of World War II, the transformation from gunpowder to nuclear fission forever changed the concept of war. The final exhibit in the museum gallery ushers in the birth of the atomic age, featuring full-size replicas of Fat Man and Little Boy, the only two atomic bombs to ever be used in combat, ultimately leading to the end of World War II. Located opposite the main gallery, the Hall of Fame recognizes Americans who served in the air during any war or conflict in a manner that reflects credit upon the fighting men and women of the United States. At the west end of the Hall of Fame, the Research Library offers historians and researchers access to literature, audiovisual, and oral histories. Located adjacent to the library is the museum's temporary gallery this area of the museum is used to showcase traveling or temporary exhibits from the museum's collection. The Aviation Nose Art Gallery showcases the 33 original nose art panels that are in the museum's collection. Cut by firemen's axes and chainsaws from the fuselages of derelict Army Air Force bombers awaiting demolition in 1946. These fine examples of aviation nose art show how our servicemen personalize the thousands of identical pieces of machinery upon which their lives so depended in World War II. Adjacent to the gallery is the Conservation Lab, giving visitors a rare peek into the art and science of cultural preservation. Museum visitors have the opportunity to see the restoration of artifacts in progress. Located between the museum building and the commemorative Air Force hangar, is the Jimmy Doolittle Memorial Garden. 
The garden is planted with native vegetation and has monuments and markers dedicated to all veterans collectively. The largest building in the CAF complex is the hangar, which houses a unique collection of World War II aircraft, including rare and one-of-a-kind planes. The hangar offers visitors a chance to step into the past among these vintage aircraft. The aircraft are maintained and flown by volunteers in the CAF units across the country and are flown to Midland on a quarterly rotating basis to be displayed in the hangar. Besides aircraft, the hangar is also home to the Dynamics of Flight, an exhibit especially designed to teach children about the basic principles of aerodynamics. And the Bush Mission exhibit, which brings to life former President George Bush's mission when he was shot down over enemy waters during World War II. Located just outside the hangar doors, a Salute to Vietnam Veterans exhibit is dedicated to those Americans who served as air crew during the Vietnam conflict. The final stop on your visit is the museum gift shop. The gift shop offers a wide variety of aviation and World War II related items, as well as uniforms and items reserved for commemorative Air Force colonels. The American Air Power Heritage Museum and the commemorative Air Force are dedicated to preserving the memory of the men and women who built, serviced, and flew the historic military aircraft of World War II. This concludes the introductory video. If you would like more information about how to become a member or volunteer, or how to make a charitable gift, please inquire at the gift shop or museum office. We're happy to assist you. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your visit to the American Air Power Heritage Museum.